So I'm starting with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. Um, I've parted everything into four sections just to make everything a lot easier. And I'm gonna go section by section blow drying. I personally like to start in the back, so we're gonna get started with this braid here. Before I put anything in my hair, I do want to say that it's better to have minimal product in your hair when straightening. By having less product in your hair, your hair is going to have a lot more movement and it's going to be a lot silkier. Okay, so now that the braid has been taken out, I'm going to spray this leave-in conditioner slash heat protectant in my hair. So this is by Bumble and Bumble and it's called Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. It's supposed to be a heat and UV protection spray. so. I'm really excited about that, you know, make sure that my hair is really taken care of. Um, and it's also supposed to be very moisturizing. So let's start. It's brand new, so it's gonna take a couple sprays. Hmm. Okay. It smells really nice. It is very um, light, but it seems to be moisturizing my hair really well, actually. So that's a nice surprise. And I do want to make sure that it's really getting coated onto there because I don't have time for any heat damage at all. I also got this Tangle Teaser today. Um, I've actually never seen this in stores before, so I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's the same as the classical brush, but it has these teeth on it that, I don't know if you can see that, um, but these are heat resistant, and it's made out of like, I think some sort of silicone or something, so it has kind of a little bit of a different feel, and then it has these holes in the middle so that the airflow goes through and it'll make it a lot faster to um, blow dry my hair and make sure that it all gets dried. Always start from the bottom and work your way up. And I'm really taking the time to make sure every section is detangled and that everything, all the product is getting brushed through. And then we can get started on blow drying. Before I continue, I do want to say that if I had a concentrator, I would be using it, and you should too. Okay, so we've got one section down, and now three more to go. Okay, so now my hair is fully blow dried and it's time to start straightening. I will say one thing about this product that I'm thoroughly enjoying is the fact that my hair isn't getting hot. It literally eliminates the heat in your hair. It's kind of bizarre because I'm used to, you know, steam coming off of my hair or it being really hot to the touch and I got none of that with this product, so I'm super happy about that. I think that will also translate with the UV protection as far as environmental protection and also humidity and frizz, so we shall see, we shall see. Time to get started straightening. I'm gonna part my hair very quickly. I already kind of have a middle part going. And again, I'm just going to be parting it into four sections so I can really take small sections and make sure that everything is super straight. Also, making sure to detangle through each step is super important. And I'm just taking small sections. You can take even smaller sections if you'd like but this is about the section that I'm going to do. 
I'm going to be taking my rat tail comb and I'm going to be putting the flat iron through like this and chasing it with that comb to make sure everything is super smooth. I am using uh, my Chi, my new Chi Deep Brilliance. It's titanium plated and I actually have never used this before so I'm trying all sorts of new stuff today. And I have the heat setting at 350. So we'll see how that goes first. And then if I need to, I can always turn up the heat a bit. Okay, first pass, I am really happy with it. Look at that. Do you see that? And it's so soft. Wow, the roots are super straight too. Wow, I think we have a winner. Wow. Okay, so let's keep going. show you guys the final result shortly. Okay, so my hair is completely straightened now. Everything is very straight, very flowy. My hair looks healthy and thick, minus my ends, but you know, that's why we're straightening the hair in the first place so I can get a trim. As you can see, we're getting very lengthy and I'm really happy with the health of my hair. 
it took me a lot less time than it normally does to do this. I want to say in total for blow drying and straightening about an hour and a half and it usually takes me two hours to two and a half, probably closer to two and a half. So I'm super happy with um, the products that I ended up using and the new flat iron is great. But yeah, that's going to conclude this video. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. And if you stuck around to the end, I hope that you will consider joining the fam and hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.